Hi everyone, Ellen from Jellen, back with another little short video. So today I want to show you uh, another excerpt on what I'm doing wrong. So today I'm going to talk about removal of gel polish. So I've got a few different things to show you. Um, one of them is our new little handy dandy portable gym door e-file here. This is the pink model, so it even's got a little bit of a pink chrome look to it, which is kind of nice. So I've got a nice little magnet bit holder here, so I'm going to show you a couple of things. So uh, let's get started. So I've got gel polish on these two fingers. I've got a matte coat, and I'm ready for a fill. So traditionally, most people would reach for an arbor band to take the gel polish down. So this is not going to be your best choice, and in fact, it's going to cause you a lot of grief because you're going to end up going through multiple arbor bands because here is what looks like after you try to file off gel polish. So what has happening here is the, the small polish component of the product is actually heating up and then melting back to your arbor band. So what's happening here is you're actually filing product on product. So that's not going to get you too far, and it's also going to cause a lot of heat for the customer. So that said, there's two bits that I like to use, both of which are carbide. Um, so I like to use a, this is my favorite, which is the uh, a takedown carbide. So it basically has a scalloped edges, so you can see that it goes acrosswise. Uh, traditional carbide has a series of flutes in it that runs diagonal and then diagonal to give you sort of that um, triangle effect or cheese grater effect that you get. Whereas this, as the takedown carbide, is different. So instead of having a series of flutes diagonally, it basically has like a scalloped edge, if you will. And so the flutes go across the bit and they go kind of like this, like a scalloped edge on a, on a bedspread or a dress, something like that. So both of these are very, very effective in removing the gel polish. So I'm going to show you now. Let's get started. Okay, so when you get started, uh, I typically, with an arbor band, I typically use um, about 10,000 RPM on this digital machine. So you can see it doesn't do the best job of taking it down. It's taking off the top coat first, but I still haven't even made it through the color. And I'm at, you know, four or five sweeps, so now it's starting to get the color. You'll see. Okay, so that's my arbor band, and as I said, they tend to get plugged up. So yeah, you can see a little bit of gray already on the top of the uh, bit here for this color that it's starting to get plugged up. So the other example that I showed you was obviously a pink of some sort, but I just kept this for uh, demonstration purposes. So now I'm going to switch to my uh, takedown bit, my favorite. And with carbide, you want to use it on a little bit higher of a speed. So I'm going to go up to about a 13 or a 14, maybe even 15 when you use it. And what you want to do is you basically want to come straight up the nail with it. So you can see, look, two passes, and I'm already down to my natural nail there, actually. You can see the white and then that little tiny clear piece in there. That's my natural nail. So it's very effective. The other thing I like about this is it's cuticle safe. So it's got the nice rounded edge. So when you're working, you can go right up along that edge. When I'm using anything that is a straight edge bit or um, a barrel shape like these two, technically are what we call a, uh, a barrel bit. So this one's a bit of a tapered barrel, but regardless, you have this straight edge here. And when you work with that straight edge, as opposed to this rounded edge, you have potential of damaging the natural nail because this edge can dig into the nail plate. But whereas when I'm working with this edge, I can get right up close and go right along and I won't dig into the nail plate. So that's why this is actually my favorite. You can see, come along and your gel polish comes off quick as can be. The last bit I'm going to show you is the carbide. This is the carbide taper barrel. And again, this is the typically, this one's a little bit um, about the same aggressive. It's only actually a fine carbide. Most people will reach for a, a medium or coarse, especially on just gel polish like this. It's, it's too aggressive. So I would reach for a coarser bit if I was taking off uh, a liquid powder set or a set with 
uh, nail candy inside or rhinestones, what have you. But for simple gel polish removal, a fine is more than suitable. So you can see again, it comes off very, very nicely with the carbide bit. Um, but I have to exercise some caution when I go around the cuticle. So what I tend to do is I'll leave a tiny little edge, something like that, all the way around so that I don't potentially dig into the natural nail with this barrel edge. So I typically use this bit for taking down, as I said, a thicker nail, a uh, sculpture gel or sculpture liquid powder, what have you, or a thick nail or one with inlaid art. Uh, but in a pinch, you can use this. If you're a seasoned ne nail technician, you can use this one for removing gel polish as well. But again, my favorite is the scalloped, what they call a gel X or a gel takedown bit. So this comes in this uh, cone shape and it also comes in a Zeppelin shape, but both of them have the rounded end for cuticle safety. So that's it for now. Join us again next time.